So we are back with episode 29 of the best Nova Launcher setups, and we've got three very creative and downright good looking setups that feature lots of cool elements of functionality throughout, and all of which are actually pretty easy to set up as well. And so actually, you know what? Let's just roll the intro. All right, setup number one today is a beautifully minimal one-page Nova Launcher setup sent in by Apay. And as impressive as it looks, it's also just about one of the simplest setups to recreate. So let's dive in. Okay, starting with that wallpaper, and it is without a doubt the most striking element of this entire setup. It's been taken from the Crimson Walls application. And if you search for Congo, it should show up, but there's something about the vibrant yet still pastel vibe of this backdrop that really does make this home screen stand out whilst not being too in your face. I love it. But it's also the way Abhay has balanced that backdrop with the layout of the icons and widgets on top that helps to make this home screen setup still visually pleasant. The wrong widgets and icons here could have been absolute chaos, but Abhay has chosen really nicely and it complements the backdrop beautifully. So that widget in the middle there is from the Terra KWGT pack. It's widget 012 and it incorporates quite a bit of information. Up the top, we have the time and date, and then below that, we have some battery status information. But this is just the home page of this widget. Tap on these other tabs down here, and the widget will change to show calendar information, weather information, as well as some music player controls, which is really, really impressive. I mean, this widget adds so much functionality to the home screen, and yet it's all contained within this beautifully minimal widget, so a big thumbs up from me. Okay, from there we have the icons. We've got six icons in total on our homepage. They've been laid out in this staggered formation, both on top and below the middle widget there. And these icons are taken from the Bubblegum Glyphs icon pack, which I think looks incredible. Super small, which is my style. And whilst they're still colorful, they also have this pastel look to them, which suits the backdrop to a T. Swapping up and into the app drawer, nothing too special here really. And so that's it for this incredibly sleek looking home screen setup from Abhay. Now today's second setup is a really creative three page setup sent in by Melo. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that, I most definitely am. But it's been created using Launcher 2, but most of what you see within this setup has actually been made using KLWP. So a quick refresher, KLWP is a live wallpaper application and it lets you create interactable wallpapers that act like leveled up widgets. And in some cases, they act as even entire home screen launches. And everything is usually contained within one single backup file, which makes replicating these complicated setups really quick and easy, as long as you have the backup file. So with that said, as you can see with Melo's three page setup, as we scroll to each of the different pages, this entire widget up the top also changes. So the main home screen is in the center and you can see we have a summary of information in this black box here, including the date, the weather and any media that's currently playing and a battery percentage indicator as well. But we also have a mini status bar at the top, a Google search bar down the bottom, and this funky abstract looking wallpaper as well. And so you can kind of see what I mean when I say sometimes these KLWP presets are kind of like home screen launcher replacements in and of themselves. Now, what's also really cool is if I tap this little hamburger menu icon here, a couple of little controls animate out, including a shortcut to the KLWP settings page, which is pretty handy. And then this little icon is a dark and light mode toggle. So if I tap on that, the entire home screen changes to a light colorway. So a really handy piece of functionality to this already impressive home screen setup. Now on the bottom of this middle screen here, we have 10 application icons laid out in a five by two configuration. These are actual icons. They're not part of the KLWP preset and they're using icons from the Jewel GIFs icon pack, which looks fantastic. A couple of these icons also act as folders if you swipe up on them. So again, even more functionality hidden in this really impressive setup. So from there, if we swipe over to the left, we have our weather page. And as you can see, the components up the top change over to more detailed weather information. And down the bottom, we have a lone weather icon, which not only indicates what page we're on, but it also takes us to our weather application of choice. 
and then swiping over to the page on the far right and as you can see the little icon down the bottom changes to a Spotify icon indicating that we're now on the music focus page so accordingly up the top all of our elements switch over to music player controls but again we can also launch into Spotify using that icon down the bottom as well and that's the main portion of this entire home screen setup complete. I'll quickly show you the app drawer as well. It's also got that dark and minimal vibe to match the rest of the setup. And actually no apps have labels, which can take a little while to get your head around, but we've also got a paginated app drawer layout, which I quite like. But aside from that, that's it for this really fantastic home screen. And because Malo has been kind enough to send through the KLWP backup file, it's actually one of the easiest setups to load onto your own phone. And finally today, we have a really simple one page setup sent in by Paolo. This is for those of you who like to keep things super minimal and dark at the same time. So with that being said, let's see what is used to set this home screen up. All right, as always, starting with that wallpaper, and this one is very subtle. You can kind of see a dark gray smoky texture if you look really closely. And I quite like the subtlety of it. And it certainly makes for an easy job when it comes to then laying out the icons and widgets on top. Now, Paolo said it was sourced from the Wally -E application, but I couldn't find it when I went searching for it. So I've left a link to the direct file down in the description below. Now, as for that widget up the top, this is a time and date widget with a little accent of red throughout. It's widget 129 from the Wolfie for KWGT widget pack, although keep in mind that the global colors have been modified. Then all the way down the bottom is a Google search bar widget, and this is also from the Wolfie KWGT pack. It's widget 112, but the icons have been altered, so keep that in mind. And of course, the color of the search text there has also been edited to match the widget at the top. All right, from there, smack bang in the middle of our homepage are six application icons laid out in a two by three configuration. And these icons have come from the Delta icon pack, which I love. Always been a big fan of the Delta icon pack, so great to see it in use here. Aside from that, swiping into the app drawer, nothing too outrageous here, very dark and minimal like the home screen itself. So that's it for a very clean setup by Paolo. But aside from that, that is it for today's episode. As always, links to each and every asset will be included down in the description below. And let me know which setup featured in today's video was your favorite and why down in the comments below. If you'd like to have your own home screen setup featured in this series, then make sure that you check out the submission video also linked below. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.